or manager of a company you are now the owner of the company so owner and and ceo yes um it's been a very interesting year yeah. steep learning curve but um very enjoyable Lots of hard work. Well, your salary report says that UAE's economic growth for 2017 is improving. Cooper Fitch predicting a growth of 4 to 6% in salaries. Um, well, that's the economic growth. And uh, what does it suggest for salary rises? So we're seeing salary rising, rises as an average of 4 to 6%. And that's across all sectors. And it covers the mid to senior spectrum, which is what our uh, core recruitment area is. Um, we see a number of areas still remaining very flat, um, including banking for the year ahead. We see some uh, some improvements in oil and gas, um, areas such as supply chain and manufacturing doing reasonably well, but areas such as uh, advisory, legal strategy, tax and big infrastructure projects doing very well. Well, when I read this 4 to 6%, my first question to you was, A, what? Hey, we've got people losing their jobs here. We've got a downturn, lower oil prices, and you're saying 4 to 6%. And a lot of people at home, I'm sure, will be scratching their head and saying, where on earth is that going to come from? I haven't had a 5% increase for, for years. So, I mean, I mean, it sounds to me incredible. Where are you getting those numbers from? So I think we see a very flat year last year. We probably saw an average zero or to minus 2% um, decrease across salaries. Um, I think the year ahead looks very promising. Um, it, you know, the market, the, the recruitment market and the industries that we're supporting are forecasting good growth for this year. Um, it doesn't mean that there are certain areas and certain pockets that are struggling. That, that, that's certainly happening. But across the overall, I think we're seeing, seeing a reasonably positive increase. Four, four to six percent is still low to mid uh, single digit growth. It's not significant. Uh, it is. But I mean, is the, the question is, really is, is are the company revenues growing by that to support a five percent say um, salary increase? And I know that the, the, that four to six percent is at variance with what the CEOs themselves are saying. I agree. Um, look, I think what we're seeing when we spoke to the to the CEO group within the region um, across the UAE, we saw a number of interesting things. One that they're predicting salary growth of between one and three percent, um, but seventy five percent of the CEOs that we spoke to are looking at approximately four percent growth um, this year in two thousand seventeen. So we're predicting a slightly higher percentage. Um, I think that CEOs are typically more conservative. It is a highly, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's a time economically where CEOs are put under significant pressure to improve P&L and to ensure that efficiencies have been built in. And part of that is maintaining cost base. But we see there is a momentum in the market that, st that is started to happen again. Oil at just below $60 a barrel gives some level of stability. And we're seeing that, you know, we see four to six Four or five percent is is a good average. In some cases, it's way ahead of that. Is that variable across roles, personalities, and industries? Are some people going to see six percent higher? Some people see none, possibly even pay reductions. Absolutely, uh, Brandy. I think we're seeing that as an average across all spectrums of the organic uh, industries that are that are in the UAE, uh, we're seeing four to six. But absolutely, we've seen in some cases. In some sectors, we see 10, 12% growth, and in some flat, and in some under, uh, under uh, a minus percentage, so no growth. Is there a difference between Dubai and Abu Dhabi and what we're expecting? That's a very good question. Um, Abu Dhabi is highly dependent on oil and gas and government sector. Um, we are we're certainly seeing some improvement in Abu Dhabi. Um, most of the growth last year, um, as minimal as it was, was based in Dubai predominantly. Um, we are certainly seeing some signs of recovery. So I think we could see that maybe a slightly lower number in Abu Dhabi than Dubai. Slightly off piece, but what are we seeing in terms of employers saving money? I mean, we've, we've heard from different industries recently um, about some of the things that employers are doing to bring their costs down outside of salaries. Things like offering lower health care packages, um, maybe looking more at new employees that, that don't have children, so no school fees. What are you seeing? We're certainly seeing that uh, organisations are being very efficient in terms of where they spend money. Um, I think part of that is an overall reduction in terms of recruitment as an activity and focusing internally on, uh, on the positive side and developing the people that they have. So bringing in more training in some cases, better succession planning internally, 
Um, on the negative side, yeah, there's some cost reduction where organizations are looking at their outgoings and seeing how they can be more efficient. As, as a CEO myself, I, I look at our costs as a business and see where costs can be taken out without any negative impacts on employees, ideally, but, but certainly trying to be more efficient in spending money. What about where employees come from? For those who are hiring, and I know you said that re recruitment was, was down a little, are people looking to hire within this region, maybe saving some of the extra expense of flying people over, relocating them, um, or are they still looking internationally? So I think the organisations that are are looking at growth and, and trying to develop a strong growth model are looking at international candidates still. I think you can save some money by hiring within the economy or within the, within the region, but I think most organisations are still looking for the best candidates available out there. It doesn't mean that they're not looking at hiring not as senior people and hiring more intermediate people and growing them through their business, but they're certainly looking at trying to achieve and, and, and get the very best candidate for each job. This um, downturn over the last few years and sort of lack of salary rises, how much more difficult has that made the emiratisation process? I'm guessing that sort of if, if you're not going to get a salary rise, um, a lot of emiratis will say, well, look, I'll stick with the government sector, thank you. I'm not moving to the private sector who don't reward me um, with annual increments. Um, I completely agree. I think, I think as organisations have found it very difficult to, um, to ensure that P&L is kept in the right, uh, right way, that they, there has been a general um, maybe looking at each hire and making sure they're getting the very best candidate. And sometimes that means that they've moved slightly away from their UAE, UAE national recruitment plans. Um, and I think that even in government sector, there's been very little movement on salary, um, very little incremental increases. So you're not seeing that it's been a particular... Um, disadvantage for Emiratis to move to the private sector because the public sector aren't giving uh, sufficient salary rises either. So I, I actually, I, I think it's probably the, the government sectors aren't giving um, significant or any salary increases. The private sector are probably, it, it's, it, it, I think when economically we were doing very well, I think it was in their top three or four people strategy ac activities. I don't think that's the case anymore. I think it's probably come off the agenda when organisations are... Um, are struggling to hold their profit levels or are uh, naturally downsizing, I think nationalisation has come off the agenda slightly. Just before we let you go, Trevor, we've had a number of texts and people sort of asking again about this 4 to 6%. Um, someone saying, look, we've just had to lay off 10% of our workforce. We're certainly not giving um, pay rises. Someone else um, pointing out some problems that they're, they're having and, and questioning that 4 to 6%. What do you see externally as influencing it? Um, you mentioned the oil price earlier. What is going to make that 4 to 6% happen? So I guess, look, at I, I, we're... We're positive about this year economically. If we had, so we had, we had two, what I would see is two difficult trading years in the UAE. And I think this year we will see improvements to that. We had GDP growth of 1% to 2% last year. We see GDP growth projected at 4 to 6% this year. And in line with that, we see salaries growing incrementally. You know, that is an average. I understand where organizations are laying off. That will mean there will be no salary increases and in some case reductions. But we are talking about the UE. It's a highly complex, um, multidisciplinary sector and, and region. So we are talking about an average. And, and unfortunately, there's lots of bad news uh, cases out there as well. We completely understand that we're just giving an average and we're standing behind that average. We think it's a very solid number for the year ahead. Well, I'm presuming that you're going to be awarding yourself in something in the 4 to 6 percent range. What about your staff now? When you go back to the office, they'll have heard this and they'll be saying, ah, oh, are we in the 4 to 6 percent range? What will you say to them? Um, <laughs> I've got some of the most difficult people to manage in the world, and I, I think they're probably all listening, or hopefully they're all working and not listening. Um, I think, um, look, reward, whether it's recruitment or any industry, is based on a return. Um, and my team have been very good and returned very, uh, very well for me in my first year trading as Cooper Fitch. Um, and this year it looks very positive for the year ahead as well. And you've got so 30 staff, haven't you? So. Just over 30 yeah. staff, yeah. Well, thanks very much, Lee, for joining us again. Trevor Murphy, CEO of Cooper Fitch, nice to have you back. Thank you, Malcolm. Thank you, Randy.